Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon. And today what I want to do is to go over one of my favorite programmings for annotating or marking up documents. And that's at the free Foxit Reader. Uh, as an English instructor, I find it very necessary to be able to annotate documents that students have submitted to me. And it's very hard to find good products that work well doing this. I've used several. Some of them are big and bulky. Some of them are okay. I even tried to make my own at one point in time. And I've shown my viewers some other versions of programs, some other programs that can annotate as well, but I found Foxit to be one of the best. So what I've done here is I've kind of showed you here is an assignment that a student submitted. Okay. And generally what I'll have to do here is if they submit it as a docx, I'll download it and then export it as a PDF. Now if you wanted to, you could simply require that students upload as PDFs. And I do offer my students that option. But most just simply choose to do Word documents though in the future I will probably require them to do PDFs. Now, uh, Blackboard does have in its thing a, a P, uh, annotator, but uh, these don't always line up properly and it's not, it's not easy to use. It doesn't work as well as it could. So now what I've done is, I've done all this already. I've downloaded this, saved it as a PDF. You can see here's the, kind of you can see the file here. I saved it as a PDF. PDF, and if you don't have Microsoft Word, LibreOffice, OpenOffice will open up all of these and convert them to PDFs. And there are several programs that will do automated conversions, so you don't have to do a lot of work to convert it to PDF. Once you do convert it to PDF, it'll show up like this. And one of the things that I found that I really liked about Foxit Reader was the pen tool was very precise. So, in Foxit Reader, once you've opened your document, you can see that you have a comment tab, and you can add all of these comments. And in particular, I found the pencil tool, as you can see here, if I click on the pencil tool, uh, if I need to circle this, I can circle this, and you can see it's a pretty good, precise tool. They also have other tools here, so if I wanted to do arrows, I could do arrows and of course then I have to flip that around. So you can do arrows. But one of the things you can do is also do stamps and you can create custom stamps. So for example if I create a custom stamp and then all I'd have to do is browse to the file and we're going to need to go to my desktop because I actually have a folder called stamps. And so these are my stamps that I made. And you have to be careful with these to make sure that they come out the right size. I found that I had to take these and convert them using Urfin View so that they were like 500 points in order to get them to the size that I wanted. So you may have to experiment with this, but you can create custom stamps. And in fact, I did just that. I have a, a group of custom stamps I called Proofing. And if I can move this over here, you can see here they are. So anywhere there's a comma, I can put a comma stamp. Anywhere there's an issue with capitalization, I can put a cap stamp. Here this area is awkward, so I put an awkward stamp. And all I have to do is click, uh, uh, let's see here. So if I wanted to, uh, if I came down here, if there was a problem with uh, a fact or a fragment, I just click on it once, just click here once, and then I can come over here and just click once. I can make these bigger if I wanted to, okay. But I kind of like that smaller size. It needs to be able to fit within the double spacing, which is why I prefer them that size. The only thing I don't know is how to get them smaller on this, which is something I would like to do, but it's not a big, huge issue right now because I can scroll through these fairly fast, and since I created the list, I know exactly where they are in the list, which speeds up the process. 
And then if I want to, I can just go select, and then I can select this. No, I can't select that. There we go. I have to select the annotation. And then I can get rid of that. So this is Foxit Reader. It's a PDF reader, portable document format, or Adobe Acrobat reader. And as you can see, there's all kinds of excellent stuff you can work with here. You can even go to share and you can share it. Um, so I really uh, do like this as far as annotations are concerned. You can put in text boxes, notes. Um, you can erase the red, all the red that you've put on with your pencil and the custom stamps are especially nice. So to create one, you just simply click Create Common Stamp, go to Browse, go to my desktop, Stamps, here we go. And let's say I wanted an A plus stamp, I click Open, there's my A step, I can change the opacity. So if I want it faded, I could fade it. And then uh, I want to name this, so I can name this A plus okay and then if I wanted to I can put it into my proofing category or I can do a whole new category uh, for now I'll just put it in proofing I click OK and now if I go back to proofing it should be probably the last one yep and there it is so I could just click on it and as you can see it's very tiny uh, and that's because I would have to adjust the dots per inch so let me show you what I did for that. So if you want to adjust it so that it's about this size instead of this very tiny size that you're seeing right now, so you don't have to lift it. And look, even if you want to, you can put you can attach a note to each of these stamps as well. But to do that, I had to use a program called Urfin View. So let me show you that. Oh, let me get rid of that. And Urfin View is right here. And let me just open one of my stamps. So here's my stamps. So what you'll find here is that if I go to A and you go to Image and Information, it's this resolution right here. This needs to be, I believe it's 500. And you can say then it print size is 0.5 by 0.5 or 0.2 by 0.2 inches. And that's really what you're looking for here is this kind of print size. Because that's what Adobe Acrobat does. It does a print size. So now if I click OK, and I go back into this, and I can go create and I can go manage stamps and if I come down here to the A plus one I can delete it okay and then I can go back to create create custom stamp come back into browse and now if I take my A plus stamp although I don't remember if I saved it um, so we'll just click OK and we'll see if that worked so let's go back down yeah, I can't remember if I didn't save it so that's the problem. Ah. So uh, let's go back. Open Urfin View. File. Open Recent. There's my camera stamp. Options. Uh, property settings. Nope, that's not it. Image. Information. No, I didn't save it. So it's 500 by 500. Uh, change. OK. Now save it. So we want to save this back over the old ones. So that would be under stamps. Save. Yes. Now we can close this. Come back into this. And if we go to stamp, we can go manage stamps. And as you can see, there's proofing right there because that's the one we're in. We will delete this. Or you can just go edit. 
we can go back, we can reload this, open, OK, and click OK again. And as you can see, it's already made it bigger here. So now it's that size that I like. So that's how you do the stamps. So this is Foxit Reader. It's free. It allows you to easily make annotations in documents, and it works great. So again, my name is Michael Langdon, and I am the Learning Engineer.